The man threw out a pig knife and instantly chopped the woman to death. It's an unscrupulous store. Hundreds of people are eaten by Mr. and Mrs. Jack, and then fresh human flesh is turned into sausages. The secret to the butcher store's booming business is not obvious, but it's that the couple hunts vegetarians. But things happen for a reason. A few days ago, the extremism of the vegetarians made it worse for the store, which was on the verge of closing down. Eating meat had become a sin. Jack was outraged and tried to save the store, but these guys gave him a hard time. If it doesn't kill and sell meat, he'll have to become a beggar on the street. Jack is furious. However, he soon met the people who smashed up his store, seeing the store vandals. He backed up his car in a hurry. He wanted to teach him a lesson, but it turned into a massacre. The kind-hearted Jack wanted to call the police, but his wife Kylie was against going to jail. In order to destroy the body, as a first-class butcher, he cut the man into pieces and dismantled him. Panicked, he lost his mind long ago. Even a dog can't resist this delicacy. The flavorful sausage was born. The rest of the meat was kept in the freezer. The next day, Jack realizes it's gone, and his wife Kylie, in the dark, threatens to sell it. Jack realizes he's in trouble. His wife's sale of human flesh has Jack in a panic. The woman who just bought the meat returns. She was so impressed with today's meat that she decided to buy another 20 pounds to make barbecued pork buns. Is there something different about today's meat? Jack was so helpless. His wife tasted it herself. It's so delicious. It's unforgettable. So it's inevitable that customers will question him. Jack was so full of shit that he claimed that this was one of the few Blackhawks in the mountains. The delicious taste of the meat soon attracted customers to come and order the meat. Instantly, the news spread around the neighborhood and the unknown butcher store became popular. People from all walks of life came to the butcher store and business was booming. However, the 180 pounds of meat were all gone in no time and no one was buying the regular meat at all. Kylie, the wife, was in deep thought again. To make money, they chose to kill. They went back to the vegetarian restaurant to look for prey. The owner of the restaurant, who was so white and tender, threw himself into the net. This is the finest meat you can find. The first time he killed a big man, Jack panicked. The moment he raised the knife, he couldn't bear to kill. He's a real wimp. This time, it was a complete failure. The butcher's wife kidnapped a vegetarian. Just because he's a vegetarian, his meat is so delicious, it's a rare delicacy. The knife that killed the vegan was a glaring blow to the head. At night, he began to show away skillful pig killing knives. A few crimes have made him even more skillful at killing and chopping. After a few minutes of crushing, a unique human sausage is born. With the unforgettable taste, there was a long queue of customers, making the couple's business more and more prosperous. What they didn't know was that more vegetarians would be targeted. For the sake of money, Mr. and Mrs. Jack lost their humanity. The couple went on a rampage, using unlimited means, hunting and killing in a variety of ways. In just 38 days, 76 people died at the hands of these psychopaths. After the hunt, they even took photos to commemorate the event. However, their desire for profit is so great that they have no choice but to kill. They're so crazy, they even killed a delivery boy. Such top quality food can only be found in heaven. Mr. and Mrs. Jack are secretly happy. They still need to check the goods before killing the pig. Years of experience as butchers, they strictly control the quality of the meat. In the darkness of the night and in the wind, Jack showed off his knife. However, before he could do it, Fay already realized something was wrong and quickly broke away and started to run away. He can't let go of the fat meat in his mouth so easily. Unfortunately, Fatty had a heart attack and collapsed on the ground. It was a very rewarding night. The next day, the two of them invited their friends for a celebration party. But the friend's husband found a pacemaker in the meat. Jack, who is used to killing people, makes up a beautiful lie, claiming that all foreign pigs need microchips. The two friends are very suspicious and threaten that the black store that poisons the living beings will be sanctioned. Their words instantly struck Jack's heart. He was so furious that he took his friends into the pool, and at the same time, he gnawed one of their ears. The taste of the ear was a delicacy in his mouth. It was sick. Having a cannibalistic friend didn't end well for the two of them. How many people will be killed in the years to come? Butcher goes on a vegan hunting spree. In just a few days, their skill in killing people has brought 78 heads to the ground in a small town. It's a real sick couple. At night, their prey is dismantled. After the couple's meticulous carving, the beautiful human sausage debuted, and the business of the butcher store was booming. The perverted couple is inhuman. Hunting humans has become their daily routine. The heartless couple had already lost their minds. They've become obsessed with the finest ingredients they can find on the street corner. Jack's wife was even tempted to kill a child. Luckily, reason overcame desire and they gave up their evil thoughts. 
But on the other side, a beautiful woman became the scapegoat, unable to escape the clutches of the preferred couple. A professional butcher's eye is always unique, tomorrow's business is sure to be booming. At this moment, the knocking at the door startled Jack, and upon closer inspection, it turned out to be a police officer's at his door. He was so scared that he didn't know what he was doing. It turned out that the police officers like his meat so much that he wanted to share three k's of it with his colleagues. However, the dog came out with a broken arm in his mouth. Thinking clearly, he gave a roar of dominance, his own dog backed down, and finally dodged the bullet. Such an experience made Jack in deep thought. He made it clear to his wife that he wanted to give up killing because he did not want to be caught and jailed. But it's always the other way around. If you do too much harm, you get what you deserve. A couple of vegans took his wife hostage. That's what you get for that. She's a murderer and a body splitter, and now she's being killed. In the nick of time, Jack raised his knife to save his wife. The clever dog is the first to rush in and bite the man's arm. When the woman was about to fight back with a knife, his skillful flying dagger killed the woman instantly, and the boy is so strong that Jack can't fight with him. The guy easily overpowers him and stabs him in the shoulder with a steel needle. Kylie threw out a hook and blinded him instantly. Although the couple survives, their friends and family reveal their crimes. This is the 2021 French horror movie Barbag. A couple of meat sellers are vandalized by vegetarians. With no money, they accidentally run over a vegan and make a fortune selling him as a delicacy to their customers. They start hunting vegans and using their meat to make money, and the butcher store goes from strength to strength. But the vegans eventually found out about their evil deeds. They kidnapped the owner's wife. The owner rescued his wife alone with a pig knife and a dog. But in the end, he was arrested by the police because of a friend's report. This story tells us that those who break the law can't escape from a bulldog movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.